Hey, Lee, how are you? Hello. I love what you've done here. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Look, horror has always had a way of uh, taking on real issues, taking on real life issues. And, and you wouldn't think, a, you know, a teen slasher movie would be able to do that but you've done that here. Oh, How tricky you. was it finding those levels and, and, and putting them all in here and then dealing with what you do deal with in this? Oh, thank you. First of all, that's that's huge for me. I'm really mm -hmm. glad that you that you noticed that and that you appreciated it. Um, you know, it, I think that one of the things that was very kind of fortuitous for us was that because we were telling the three stories, we had room. We had room to kind of like unfold that there's more happening here than just killing kids. Um, and I think that like for me, when I thought a lot about Fear Street and coming on to it, I had read the books. I was obviously always have been a huge horror fan. Um, oh, no. And I had a lot of like, like, you know, kind of internal dialogue of like, why? Why should we do this? We have had so many great slasher movies in the past. And how do we make these not just feel like nostalgia? Like, how do we, we have a healthy dose of that, but also make it something else? And, and that ended up lying in the fact that we're telling a story about characters um, that normally don't have their day in the sun in horror movies. They usually die very quickly. Um, and kind of, it was baked into the DNA of what Shadyside was, a, a story about outsiders that have been victim of systemic oppression for generation after generation. Um, and everything kind of trickled down from that. It's also, you don't cheap on the, you know, look, people like slasher movies for a reason. Yeah. They like seeing the blood. They like seeing the, you know, the, the over the top kills. Yeah. You, you managed to do that too. Was there ever like a, no, you can't go this far or you can't go this far. We're talking sex, nudity, and all of it. You got it. <laughs> I mean, I made it very clear that I wanted them to be R rated. And luckily my producers were really behind that and understood. Um, and they kind of got the thing that you just said of like, oh, like slasher movies need to have these things. Like that's why you go to see a slasher movie. You mm -hmm. know that you're going to have those. Um, and so luckily that support was always there. There was, there was only, I'd say like one day when we were shooting, I remember it's a scene in, in the first movie and um, it's right after Skull Mask kind of attacks the babysitter's house and all of our characters are kind of they're pacing and josh is there and i have a lot of fucks in that scene <laughs> yeah <laughs> and you I, did <laughs> and, and i remember getting a call from the studio <laughs> after when they watched the dailies being like there are a lot of f-bombs in that scene like maybe we need to try to do some alts that don't have <laughs> And I had a little bit of a panic in that moment, but I, it was very, it was very embraced. The the whole kind of authenticity that I was trying to go for was embraced by everyone. How much freedom did you have to to trans translate this to to a three movie event? Um, I mean, I think that like the Stein estate was really great about kind of saying like you know, Bob has created these amazing books that everyone loves and and feels like attached to and has some kind of like connection with, um, but now he embraces kind of like people doing what they will with his material. So there was a lot of freedom there and I felt that and I felt that embrace and I think that, um, I don't know, I feel really lucky about that. And, and everyone kind of came on board and was like, let's do this. Like, let's tell this crazy multi-generational insane, insane story. Well, we got to wrap, but you did an amazing job. I'm a huge fan. I've watched it twice. Oh, Both amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I, I can't wait to see what's next for you. Oh, cool. I'm Your a big fan of Joe Blow, too, so cool. Oh, we love you. <laughs> <laughs>